Hey everyone, it's Connor here from Durham Hearing Specialists. I hope you're doing well and welcome back to a follow-up video. Uh, we're going to be revisiting a tool called the Earway Pro. Now, I made a, a review video on this a couple of months ago and uh, I've had several requests to re-show it. So here it is again. I'm going to show you this case and give you my final thoughts on this product, which is um, a rather interesting, unusual looking thing. It's a proper certified medical device for use by audiologists and doctors and nurses. And what it is, is it sort of looks like a corkscrew basically, but it's a sort of open helix design. There it is. And what you're supposed to do is as you advance it into the ear canal, you're supposed to turn it very slowly clockwise. And what it's doing is it's kind of spiraling around and enveloping the wax. And then when you meet a suitable depth, which is uh, denoted by the gauge markers on the stem, or when you feel resistance in your hand, then you give it a turn and then you essentially pull the wax out very slowly from the ear canal. Uh, so there's no preparation, there's no oil, there's no suction, there's no water, it's just a dry removal method. And so right around here I think is where I felt resistance in my fingers and that's a sign really that, that there's no, no need to advance it into the ear any longer, you just give it a turn. So, uh, and what we're going to do here is you're going to see me remove the first chunk of the plug, so to speak. And there we go. So that's not the main culprit, that's just the front end. Now, by pulling on this front end, what we've done is we've, we've pulled the deeper wax forward, which is often the case really. So sometimes if you need to use two and you've got quite a deep impaction of wax, um, you'll use the first Earway Pro, you'll pull that out, but then you've pulled the remaining wax away from the eardrum, so you don't have to be quite as invasive on the second time round. So we're going again, and these are two larges that I'm using. So the green coloured ones are large, but they also make a, a medium, which is purple, and a small, which is blue. So I'm going to go in again, and again, we'll just advance it clockwise. So prior to sitting him in front of the microscope, I did go in with an endoscope and suction, which is what I normally tend to do. And, you know, upon tapping the, tapping on the wax with a Zolna probe, I just knew it was going to be perhaps a little bit of a fight to get it out with suction. So I, I could have got it out with suction, but it would have almost certainly involved a lot of olive oil and probably, you know, partially digging it out with a Cawthorn hook, something like that. Um, and then more oil and then a lot of wiggling and rotating and it would have taken significantly longer. So I just thought I'd, I'd sit him in front of the microscope and, and film him with an Earway Pro. So I'm just going to extract now the main culprit here. And there we have this very, very extensive, very dark, almost black plug of earwax, so, which is a sign that it's very old wax. It's had plenty of time to oxidize. So patient felt immediately fantastic, hearing loss resolved, ear felt loads more comfortable, and we're now just going to examine the ear with a few speculum. So this is a metal speculum that I'm using to look at the eardrum, which I really recommend, by the way. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the plastic ones. The metal ones are great and they're sustainable. So lovely looking eardrum there, pale grey, shiny. We can see the umbo and we see a little bit of wax in the ear as well, which is what we're trying to achieve. You know, I mean, really with these dry removal tools and suction, that's... So I've just got the patient to tilt their head away from me and I'm just examining the, the handle of the malleus here in greater detail. There's a little bit of redness around the attic region, but I'm not overly concerned about that. Um, so yeah, I mean, in a, in a perfect world, we want to achieve clearance, but we want to leave behind that little smearing or film of wax on the ear canal because that's going to be better for the patient. It's going to defend them from infection and really we want to leave the ear in a, in a natural state of affairs. We don't want to you know, wash the skin squeaky clean. Um, so that's what we've been able to achieve here. I'm going in with a, I think this is a six mil metal speculum and you can clearly see the, the kind of smearings and smatterings of wax around the shop. And the patient was very comfortable during the procedure. Sometimes when you're advancing the device deep, they can feel a little bit of pressure or a little bit of a twinge, in which case, you know, you stop advancing the device and then you, you, if you can, give it another turn and then extract it. So those are the two larges, those two green ones. There's the six mil speculum. 
and I usually have a medium on standby, but again, I didn't need it in this case. And these are the plugs which we extracted. Well, same plug really, but just in two segments. Um, so what are my final thoughts on the Earway Pro? Um, well, I have a couple of thoughts. First and foremost, um, if you're going to use these things, there is a learning curve, which you should be aware of. And although the kind of basic technique seems rather easy to master, um, it does take a little bit of time to get good at. And it, probably the, the, the best advice I can give you is, if the ear canal can take a large, definitely go with your instinct and go for a large, or rather go with the, the advice and go for a large. Your instinct will tell you to simply downsize, which is what I was doing a lot to begin with. And you know, your, your kind of wants to use the purple or sometimes the blue, even though the ear canal is clearly large enough for a green. So if you use, you know, the larger the, the larger the device, the more scope it has to actually travel and spiral around the wax, the more successful the procedure would be. Um, and that's what you've seen here. So that's my first thought. The second thought is that they are, they are definitely good and very, very convenient and time-saving for these large plugs, which are to some degree quite difficult to get out with hooks and suction. Um, so then it's nicer for the clinician, nicer for me because it's, you know, it's a lot quicker and it's nicer for the patient because I don't have to put them through the rigmarole of oil and suction and hooking, um, which is not uncomfortable in skilled hands, but it's just, you know, it's not, it's not a particularly enjoyable experience if you have to go through 10, 15 minutes of suctioning. So, you know, these are very, very convenient and good for plugs of wax, which I really like them for. And also, you know, the usual type of, um, kind of soft wax, but not runny wax, not wax that's been treated with hydrogen peroxide or sodium bicarb. And that's really more again for suction or irrigation. But, um, you know, very, very nice and very, very interesting, this product. So thank you very much to uh, the company for sending them out to me for free. And thank you for Signia, uh, to Signia for shipping them. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below and I will try my very best to get back to you. And of course, I will see you guys on the next video.